Hi, this is Sunil from Learning Lad Education, and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you a C program, and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program. Then we're gonna explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code, which is here in the editor, and then guess the output of the program. And then once you have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run this program and explain the output. All right. Now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. We're gonna build and run this. So uh, it's gonna be build and run, and the answer is strings are not equal. So now, why the heck we're gonna get the strings are not equal as the output? Here in this program, we have two character arrays, and we are initializing these strings explicitly with characters. And when you initialize strings like this, at that time, the string termination character will not be added automatically. So in this str1 character array, we haven't added the string termination character. And for this str2 array, you know, we have the string termination character after this string hello. So if I have to draw an image of it, then it's gonna look something like this. So in memory, you know, the uh, characters are going to be stored. So the string one will look something like this, you know, it's going to have H A L L O. Then we haven't added the string termination character. And for this string two, you know, we have this H A L L O and then the string termination character. So now what happens is in C, the string termination character specifies that, okay, this is the end of the string here for the string two, you know, after this H E L L O, here we have this string termination character and uh, it specifies that this is the end of the string and for this string one we don't have the string termination character and that's why whatever the values that are in the following positions are going to be treated as part of the string so here since we don't have this string termination character whatever the values are going to be stored in the following memory locations are going to be treated as part of the string until it randomly encounters a string termination character so here let's say you know the, in this memory location there is a string termination character so now you know this much will be treated as this string one after this hello h a l l o you now whatever the values are going to be there in this and this memory locations are going to be treated as part of this string one and in our program what we are doing is we are using this strcmp function to compare two strings this strcmp function returns a value of zero if both the strings are equal else it's going to return a non-zero value and here since this string one and string two are not equal that's because here for the string two we have h a l l o that's it and for the string one we have h a l l o then whatever the values that are in the following memory locations until the null character is encountered so this string one is not equal to string two and that's why this strcmp function is going to return a non-zero value and in C a non-zero value is treated as true and that's why this if condition satisfies and it's going to print out strings are not equal. So this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website learninglad.com for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.